in business, maybe in sales, or just have your own company, and you wanna grow your business, so you've thought about networking, going to a business networking event, like maybe a chamber mixer, but it makes you feel a little bit queasy. Well, my name is Miley Colmer, and I am a business consultant. I actually specialize in business development through relationships. And if you are not a natural networker, like I was not a natural networker, here are some do's and don'ts from my experience on how to become a great networker and get the results that you're looking for in growing your business through networking. So the first thing to know about going to a networking mixer is that it's really about building relationships. So when you go to a networking mixer, do build relationships. What you want to also know is you don't want to sell, right? So do build relationships, don't sell. Now, some of us feel a little bit uncomfortable having to talk about ourselves, brag about ourselves, you know, promote our product or service. And guess what? You don't have to. You do want to make sure you can share what you do, what is it that you do and the product and service that you have, but you don't have to sell because it's all about building relationships. So when you're out there networking, you want to uh, be able to talk about what you do, but don't make that the main focus. You're there to connect with people and especially I would say connect with those contact sphere professionals those businesses that are complementary to yours and not competing. So you have similar clientele and you're having similar conversations. So it's easy to actually refer people back and forth. So you're really actually networking for referral partners. And when you build those relationships with those contact spheres, you can earn that business. Here's another do and don't that really helps those of us who are not naturally outgoing extroverts, we're more, a little bit more introverted. Don't act like a guest. So when you go to a networking event, uh, it can seem like, hey, I'm a guest, I'm just here showing up to participate. But that's a mindset of someone who's waiting to be served, waiting to see what happens, waiting to be led. Go ahead and take the lead. So do act like a host. So you want to approach people and say, hi, what brought you to today's event? Or how did you hear about this event? Or who are you interested in meeting tonight? Or you know, what was your reason for coming here today? So do ask those questions and act like a host. And it's a little bit different mindset. It's a little more of a proactive mindset. So then you are feeling a little bit more confident and comfortable in that role. So just go ahead and act like a host and not like a guest, and that'll, that'll help you as well approach people. And it's coming with a servant's mentality, which is, is pretty easy for a lot of us to do. So just say, how can I help you, right? That kind of thing. So my final do and don't that I wanna share with you today is to do follow up. So if you've met someone that you like, that you connect with, that you think has a complimentary business to yours, do follow up with them and book a coffee meeting. Book a meeting where you can get together and build that relationship. Don't take all the cards that you collected and put them on your spam list. Right, so we don't wanna follow up with spam, we do wanna follow up with a personal connection. So those are my do's and don'ts for those of us who are not natural networkers to get you started in business networking. Again, my name is Miley Colmer, I'm a business consultant. I help people build their business through relationships and referrals. So if you're interested in more, I do do private coaching consulting. I also have some really wonderful workshops. So check out my website, contracosta.ascentive.com and have a beautiful day.